Hey guys, we are back with another art project. Um, Corley's helping me today. I'm going to preface this with a long list of supplies, but they are they should be easily um, accessible to you at home. So, um, first of all, we are studying Giotto di Bondone. I don't know that I said that correctly, but his name is Giotto. The kids and I um, homeschool, and, and in um, one of our books, we read about um, Giotto and his paintings. Um, he was an Italian painter, and um, the story that we read, if you want to look it up, it's a great, great story. That's one of the things I love about homeschool is that I get to find um, things that I like to learn, too. So um, anyway, we enjoy um, going through that book together, and it's called Gabriel and the Hour Book, and it talks about the life of Giotto and how he learned to paint and eventually worked his way. He had such a gift for it, but he worked his way up to painting the hour book for the Queen of Italy and um, ended up transferring to Florence and working the rest of his days as an artist. And so what we're going to do is a nod to him and um, learn how to make paint the way that he made paint. And so here is what you're going to need. You're going to need a jar of water. You are going to need some sort of um, muffin tin or maybe a couple of bowls, something that you can contain your paint in. You will need some chalk. Um, I have some chalk pastels. You may just have sidewalk chalk. Any kind of chalk will work as long as it's colored. Um, you'll need a fork and a spoon. Um, you'll need a bowl or a cup to whip the egg in and you will need an egg, okay? Um, and then of course you'll need paper and a paintbrush. So I am going to pause this video. You pause the video too and go gather up your supplies. Make sure you protect your mom's table. If you are younger, I want you to do this with your parent because we are using an egg and I don't want you to end up having any kind of germs or adverse effects, but it's really, it's a safe activity. Just make sure you have supervision. Okay, pause. Okay, so I hope you got all of your supplies um, in order and we're gonna get started. The first thing that you need to do is break up your um, chalk. And so I am going to let Coralie pound on the chalk for a little bit. We did a little piece of parchment paper to make this easy. You don't want to grind um, your chalk all together. You wanna do one color at a time and then you're gonna pour that into your muffin tin um, just like Gabriel or Giotto would have done it in the story. Um, he probably did not use a hammer. He probably used one of those bowls with the grinders in it or even a stone. And if so, if you have a stone, you can do that too. All right, so she's going to hammer that out and just crush it. Yeah, get pulverize it. That's right. More like a little thin powder. aggression out on this project. Okay. Okay, so we got us a little powdery mess here. And we're going to pour that into one of the tins in our muffin tin. Right there. Just like that. And then we're going to do that again for these others. While she's pounding, mom or dad or adult, you're going to crack an egg and you are going to save, you're going to separate the yolk and the white um, from each other. So um, I'm going to crack this egg in here. We're gonna pause the video. You guys can pause the video too while we work on our um, paints and we'll come back together when we mix the two things. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we have all of our colors ground up in this little muffin tin. Look how beautiful. Yes. In this mug, I have just the egg yolk. I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> I'm probably gonna pour it out. And then to the egg yolk, you're going to add two teaspoons of water. So just take a teaspoon of your water, pop it in there, and mom or adult, you're going to get an arm workout because you're going to whip this egg until it is broth 
natin. Okay. Make sure it's really mixed in there. In the story, Gabriel in the hour book, Gabriel was what they call a color grinder for Brother Stephen, who was a monk, and he was responsible for painting all of the biblical passages and things like that, um, and all of the books back when they didn't have like printed books. This is before the printing press, and so everything was handwritten, hand painted, all of the edges of the books were um, decorated with, you know, bees and flowers and birds and things they saw in nature. Well, they had monks that worked um, at doing that all day, every day, and usually they would assign someone, kind of like an apprentice, to help grind their colors and make their paints for them because that was kind of a laborious process and they wanted them focused on making the books. So to the um, paints, you're just gonna spoon um, a little bit of the egg mixture into each color bin. And you're gonna take a paintbrush and mix it together until you have a thick, um, a thick slash runny paint. Um, and it's called egg tempera paint. So we're gonna start mixing each one. Make sure that you use a different paintbrush for each paint. But you want to mix it up really good so there's no um, granules in there that aren't wet. It'll be a little bit runny. What year did we read about Gabriel in the Hour book? Um, I think that was in fifth grade, fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade. Yeah, and then I read fifth it grade. again with Cash. It's a really good book. I'm gonna lean that like that. I'm gonna get a different brush. We're gonna mix the red and the blue. This is a very satisfying process. <laughs> All of it is kind of like baking. Make sure all of it's mixed in there and there's no dry powder. Um, just to give you a, an example of the consistency, it'll drip off of the paintbrush if you hold it up. But the paintbrush is very coated. Okay, so now we have our four colors um, mixed up and we're ready to paint. So we're gonna pause the video and clear our surface and get our paper ready. Okay, well, we hope that you enjoyed this project. I know we had a lot of fun making the paint. Did you enjoy it? Loved it. Loved it. Um, we ended up making some pretty cool little artworks with our own little paint. That was Coralie's, and then I had time to do a couple of them. Oops. Yeah. So, not bad for making your own paint. You can be stuck at home and not have any supplies and literally can make your own paint and your own artwork from an egg and some water and some ground up chalk. So. There's no excuse for not being creative during this time. Um, also, just remember that you can make paint from other things that are naturally occurring like flowers. Anything that has a lot of color in it is a potential paint maker. So, um, you know, your brightly colored flowers can be immersed in water and make watercolor and just lots of different options. I hope that you enjoy exploring all of those options and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.